Hi, I'm Verdeen White of Earth, Wind, and Fire, and I'm here with John, and you're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Hi everyone, John Liebman here. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Coming to you today on location, Clarkston, Michigan, outside the old Pine Knob. They call it something else now, DTE Music okay, Theater. Right, right. With, look at this, Verdine White. How you doing, Verdine? How are you? How are we? We've been trying to do this for a while. We have. I don't know what took us so long, because we've seen each other at NAMM shows and Bass Player Live, and oh, we've known right, each other right, for a right. long time, so we finally are here. Finally, that's right, finally, yes. You know, I think most people know that you're the bass player for Earth, Wind, and Fire, and 100 million records, and uh, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and all that stuff. I want to touch on a couple of things that maybe some people don't know. And you're you're originally from Chicago. Originally, uh, uh, born and raised in Chicago. My late father was a doctor, and my mother's a school teacher. Your father's name was Verdine. I'm actually Verdine Jr., and I have a twin sister, Geraldine. And a lot of music in the house, a lot of... Music uh, like Miles and Coltrane and things everything. like that? Coltrane, Miles, Motown, Chess Records, The Beatles, you know, Miles Davis, you know, so listen to a lot of things. I, I bet a lot of people might be surprised that you actually studied classical double bass, is yes, that right? I did, right, I did. I, uh, with Roddy Villar from Chicago Symphony Orchestra and David Beth from the Metropolitan Opera. and, and uh, But then on weekends I'd work with the great, late Louis Satterfield who was... A great bass a trombone guitar. player, wasn't it? And yeah. the Phoenix Horns. He played trombone first, then he went to a uh, bass guitar. All yeah, right. Yeah. And then, then you went out to L.A. to join your brother, yeah, right? He, he sent for me to come out to Los Angeles. The band was originally called the Salty Peppers. Can I say that for you everybody? Say that right, yeah, the Salty <laughs> Peppers. And, uh, I like the name Earth, Wind, and Fire better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maurice made a name change based, of course, on his uh, uh, astrological chart and things like that. And, uh, and of course... Uh, uh, everybody knows that Maurice, you know, passed away last year, and uh, and you know what's really strange, which is beautiful. Now we have people uh, having Maurice White T-shirts on that I see, and and people that never had a chance to meet him, but they're wearing the T-shirts with his image on it. So it's, it's a beautiful. I, I bet there's there's it's impossible for you now to walk out on the stage without thinking of Maurice. Absolutely. So what what would you like people to know about Maurice White? How should he be remembered? Well, they know him as, you know, a musical genius and an innovator and things like that. But, you know, he was my big brother, the best big brother you can have and best friend. And he knew everything about me and I told him everything about me. So it was cool. I think uh, a lot of people also might not be aware that you've done a lot of stuff other than Earth, Wind, and Fire, and uh, uh, with with Level Forty Two, yeah, produced Level Forty Two, uh, and, and with uh, Pockets, Pockets, and I did. So uh, you worked with Level with uh, Mark King and Gary yeah, Mark, Granger. Yeah, Mark. Oh, yeah, Gary. That's right. Gary was in the uh, band Pockets, and, yeah. and I just saw Gary a few weeks ago. He I've came interviewed, to the show I've interviewed Gary and Mark. Yeah, uh, uh, Gary came down to Philly to watch the show and. And uh, and then recently, of course, I did uh, uh, Flo Rida and Robin Thicke, right, you know right. what I mean? I don't like it, I love it. And then I just got to doing a couple of tracks with Kelly Clarkson about a month ago. So, yeah, so it's been an interesting ride, yes. yes. Now, you also have, what is it called, the Verdine White Performing Arts Absolutely. Center. in Los Angeles. Please, we, please tell the people about well, that. You know, we help the kids, we do plays, we have a, a, a chapel where we have a... a uh, services on Sundays and now we're going to implement giving free food and breakfast in the mornings for in underprivileged kids so we're trying to do some good work. If somebody wanted to support or help or, or further that cause is there a website where they yes, can go? Yes, uh, verdinewhite.org it'll kind of give you all that information about what we're doing and then get on my Facebook page and my Instagram and it'll sort of tell you what it is. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me briefly about your equipment. Uh, well, I'm using uh, my primary basses right now, are the Roger Sadowski basses, and uh, that, that's pretty new, right? That's from 2017. The, the no, new, no, th well, the, the signa that signature bass, right? That, that just came out, which I got a few, a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. But I've been playing Sadowski's now almost 18, 19, 20 Ooh. years, and uh, then Roger made me an, another one two years ago, which I've been using, and so I've been using his basses now almost 20 years. Ooh. You know what I mean? And they sound beautiful for, for my sure, style yeah. of playing, and and um, uh, black diamond strings, right? Yeah, I've been using black diamond strings, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, which I've been using now, like 12, 13 years, which I like them, you know, I, you know, I, I, I like them a lot. Kavanaugh family down in Florida. Yeah, you know, oh yeah, the Kavanaugh, yeah, yeah, right, they're good people too. Yeah, they really are. good people. And uh, uh, so that's kind of what I've been using, and, uh, and I still use SWR amps. But in the studio, I still use a, a B15. Epic. Mm -hmm. Classic. 
Yeah, well, it sounds good for me for records. I don't know what everybody else uses, but for me, it does sound great. But, uh, uh, but yeah, I use Sadowski basses. For me, it's really uh, the best bass. Uh, and Roger's great. I tried to buy one off the rack. Roger wouldn't let me buy one. He said, I got to make one. And so, um, and I was at Roger a few weeks ago. And, uh, and, I, and I saw another one, and I said, Roger, I like that one. I said, I'm going to get that one, too. He said, no, no, he touched me. He said, no, 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 no. Anything you get from me is custom. So, but it was, it was beautiful, though. Yeah. Roger's a wonderful person. He is. I've gotten to know. Actually, I just uh, talked to him yesterday, as a matter oh, of fact. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. He emailed me and my wife uh, uh, yesterday about some photos and things like that. So oh, we cool. stay in touch. And then his son, Sam, is cool. Actually, it was Sam's idea to, to do a Verdeen White line with Roger. And so they worked jointly together. And then Sam came to the show at Madison Square Garden a couple of weeks ago. Tell me about the future. I mean, you've been doing Earth, Wind, and Fire for ever. Got to be like forty years almost, or yeah. more than forty years. Yeah. What What else would you like to do? You do these producing projects on the side. Is there anything else that you'd like to do that you well, just I, you know, haven't gotten around to yet? I don't think like that. I don't think what I want to do in the future. I just take it one day at a time, and one day opens one door to the next. You know. What are you gonna do tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm gonna go to Albany, uh, New York. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> that's that's what the future's bringing. And then right after this, I got a meet and greet to do. So. That, 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 All right. Well, let me ask you one last question yeah. then. What would you be if you weren't a bass player? You've got to be something outside of music. I was going to be a doctor because my late father was a doctor, as I said. But I tell everybody I was going to be a doctor, but it didn't work out. That's hey. what I said. But I have two honorary doctorates, one from Columbia and, right. and one from the American Conservatory of Music. So, you know, all in all, you know, I have nothing to complain. Yeah, there's a lot more we could get into, but we'll, I think we'll save that for another time, and yeah. we'll we'll open it up for a follow-up interview, and I'm sure everybody will be well, interested. Let's start due to the fact this took us so long to get here, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not going to wait that long before right. we do it again. Well, listen, enjoy the show. Well, thank you oh, very yeah. much. And, right. and we should mention, you're touring with, with Sheik and no, Niall right. Rogers. Sheik and, uh, and I got your five, uh, it's called 2054, actually, just the last night. Uh, but you can see a lot of what we did online. And, and you got five tickets? I get you five, right? Okay. I, I think, what did I get him, five? Okay, uh, Tony's right there, and so you just give the check to him, you know what I mean? Yeah, and gotcha. We're, we're talking about the future. <laughs> That's right, the future. <laughs> With our good friend, Verdine White, the shining star himself. Yeah, before it rains, right? It is okay. starting to rain. Thank you, John. I'm John Liebman. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. That's cool tonight.